Woo-wee! It gets hot in the summertime. People impacted by MS can suffer from heat sensitivity and can almost trap them indoors. But in this video, I'm going to share with you three ways to beat the heat. Don't turn away because that starts right now. Hey! Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. In this video, I would like to address ways of overcoming heat sensitivity, a major problem for people here in the Midwestern United States. The summer is hot, 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 and people impacted by MS can have significant problems going out in the heat. Sometimes when you have had an injury from MS, let's say an optic neuritis, and you recover so you can see again, that optic nerve is not 100%. It's literally operating at, let's say, 90% which under normal circumstances works fine. But when you go out in hot ambient temperatures and the 95 degree weather here in Ohio and your core body temperature raises, it can cause that damaged optic nerve to short circuit. And in the setting of the heat, you go blind again. Or people may experience significant fatigue of their legs and weakness just by being out in the heat. So let's discuss ways that we can overcome heat sensitivity so that you can live your best life during the summer despite having MS. Let's jump in. Number one is to consider the timing of daily activities. Oftentimes we do a given activity at a certain time independent of the weather, and that can create a major problem during the summer heat. If you can plan outdoor outings, first thing in the morning before the sun is all the way up in the sky, or late in the evening after the sun has started to set, it's not gonna be so darn hot outside. Please don't plan to do your gardening at two o'clock in the middle of Saturday. It's better done early in the morning when you're not gonna melt in the heat. By paying attention to the scheduling of events, you can game out the best time of day and avoid the intense sun. Number two is to cool yourself down, both from the outside and from the inside. An awesome way to cool yourself down is to use a cooling vest. These are literally like fishing jackets that have pockets where you can put cold packs. They can go right up against your skin and they can cool your core body temperature. It covers a lot of surface area and they work very, very well. A lot of the newer cooling vests are lightweight, they're discreet, you could wear them under a t-shirt, and you can reactivate them by sticking them in a refrigerator or just getting them wet. Sometimes patients will bring a cooling vest in a cooler with extra ice packs, and halfway through an activity they can swap them out and extend the time they can cool their body down. There's other cooling devices, like cooling kerchiefs that you can wear, or even misters that you put above a door frame that you can stand under and it can mist you at the threshold of going outside. These are ways that you can cool your body from the outside. An awesome way to cool your body from the inside is to up your water game, but up your ice water game. Literally, constantly drinking ice water is gonna help cool your body from the inside. So if you're gonna be exposed to the heat, consider how you're gonna cool yourself down. Number three is a prescription medicine, and this is something that you would have to discuss with your doctor. The drug I'm talking about is called 4-aminopyridine. The brand name in the United States is Ampira. The brand name outside the United States is Fampira, and it's a pill that you take twice a day. Now, unfortunately, only about half of people impacted by MS seem to respond to this pill, but when you do, it buttresses against heat sensitivity, which is freaking awesome. So when you're taking Ampira and you go out in the hot, summer of Ohio, your legs don't get weak, you don't lose vision, it buttresses you against that. Now, Ampira has side effects like all medicines, and it's a no-no drug if you've had seizures in the past, so obviously you have to talk to your doctor if it's a safe fit, but if you are able to try Ampira and if you are a responder, wow, it can really, really change things. Ampira is an awesome tool to beat heat sensitivity. If you'd like to learn more tricks and tips to live your best life despite having MS, Click the video that's on your screen right now. Until my next Monday morning video, or my next live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying stay cool, be safe, and take care.